Hi guys and welcome to my video of demystifying Arturia Kilap Essential 61 MIDI controller. In this video I will not go through the technical details of the functionality of the controller, but instead I will show you how to set up MIDI control center with your user template and how to set it up with your DAW and how to use it with the Analog Lab software. Arturia Club Essential comes with the two softwares, MIDI Control Center called MCC in the manual, as well as Analog Lab 4. Let's start with the MCC first. You don't really need to install the MIDI Control Center to use your new controller, but if you want to expand its functionality and make full use of it, and what I mean by that, if you want to create your own templates um, with the user settings, um, then you definitely have to do so. But alternatively, you can use the uh, Map Select Analog Lab and everything is assigned there for you um, automatically. But um, if you want to make your set own settings, then you definitely have to download your MIDI control center. And let me show you now how the MIDI control center looks like. Device memories. We can see three sections here, really. Analog lab, DAW, and the users. If you would like to expand it, just basically mouse over these um, little lines and uh, up and down. Now, analog lab and the DAW, you can see read-only mode. Uh, what that means basically, the analog lab is already assigned to certain channels, so these uh, parts, for example, are assigned to channel number 10, and a keyboard is assigned to user. User means whatever is chosen in, um, in your DAW, etc. This is how it's going to play on this channel. Now, um, you can't change it, so if you're happy with how the, they assign um, the keys, then uh, fine, you can um, go with the analog lab. And this is why I said to you, you don't need a MIDI control center if you do not want to um, make your own templates. You can basically go with the analog lab settings. DAW, um, this is basically going to control your um, DAW uh, through your MIDI controller. So if you want to play um, track on your DAW, instead of clicking play in your DAW, you're going to use play button on your MIDI controller, etc. Um, certain things are already assigned by default, and um, they are great, by the way, they're working perfectly fine. I don't know how they're working with the different DAWs, but with the Ableton, straight away recognize. So I tested all of them, uh, stop, start, um, uh, move forward, backward, save, punch, undo, metro, etc. All works fine. Now, if you would like to make your own templates and assign different buttons um, to different parts, keys, etc., this is where you're going to use um, users. Right, okay, so let's say I would like to assign, for example, keyboard on my MIDI controller um, to channel number two um, in my DAW. So we're clicking user number one, keyboard, we choose channel number two. This is the channel you're going to have to use in your DAW. Now your file, save us, let's call it test. Now all you need to do is just store it. Boom, done. Now every time you're going to map select on your MIDI controller user 1, user 1 will be assigned to channel number 2 in your DAW. And by the way guys, um, I don't know if you have realized, but you cannot use your MIDI control center when your DAW is open. It doesn't work with the Ableton. I have to do either either. I cannot um, use both in the same time. Now using the same principle we can assign a part to different nodes or different channels. For example, first part um, to G3, um, second part to A1, etc. And you can basically play your music using parts only. Um, by default, they're going C1, C sharp 1, D, D sharp, etc. etc. Now, before I'm going to show you how to set up your first template, let me also uh, mention the device settings. So basically, um, you have a few controls here as well. Um, I would suggest to go, you, you go guys through your user manual because different DW, different settings, but principle remains the same. Now, this is the one which I wanted to mention. Um, you know, guys, when you're not touching your keyboard and you're waiting um, for all of the slides flashing um, up and down like they're showing on all of this demo, 
Well, I, I tried once and I was waiting 10, 15 minutes and nothing was happening. Well, because Vegas mode was disabled. So make sure your Vegas mode is enabled. And then I think it's five minutes um, um, cap. If you're not touching your MIDI controller for the five minutes or three minutes, I can't remember now, um, then the all lights starting to flashing. So yeah, that's the tip. Right, so let's just see how this is now working in the DAW. So on your MIDI controller, you map select user one. And now, um, obviously, channel one shouldn't play anything because we assign our keyboard to channel number two. So let's just see. Yeah, it doesn't work. Perfect. This is what we expected. Now let's go to channel number two. Sorted. This is how you set it up. Now, last thing we have to do, as we are still in a select map user one mode, um, we have to now uh, map our DAW to control the different parameters in the different softwares. I have chosen obviously Analog Lab 4 um, just for this demonstration, but you can use any um, software um, and the principles remain the same. So what you need to do, you just need to click on the MIDI, choose the parameter, I'm going to choose cutoff filter, MIDI back, and now every time we're turning the cutoff filter knob up and down, we're going to control our software using our MIDI controller. Let's try one more. So MIDI. This time we're going to maybe choose resonance filter, MIDI back. And if we're going now to turn the second knob, we will control our software. Now, this is very useful. If you think, right click, show automation. We can now make any automation adjustment and you will see this should work fine. Yeah. Our cutoff filter is automated. Yeah, so this is basically how it works. Okay, so we just went through all the user settings, um, but just to recap, um, if you would like to use your user settings, then on your um, MIDI controller, map select user one, and make sure you've chosen the correct channel, which has been um, assigned in your MIDI control center to your user one, sorted. You have to then MIDI and assign all the parameters in your software you're going to use, to the keys on your MIDI controller. If you don't want to bother about that, if you just want to use an analog lab, simple. All you need to do on your MIDI controller, map select, choose analog lab, then in your DAW, channel one, which is assigned to analog lab, and that's it. You don't have to assign anything anymore. Everything is working automatically. This is why I mentioned to you in the beginning of this video. Maybe it didn't make sense at the time, but this is basically what I meant. Analog Lab has already been set up in this way. So all keys are working automatically. And the last one, DAW section. Um, basically, this is to control your DAW by using your MIDI controller. So um, again, we're starting with a map select DAW and let's see how it works. fine so basically this is how you control your DAW so as for my um, Arturia demo um, basically what I have done I have assigned all my scenes um, scene in Ableton is all of these clips in that row um, so that's the scene against my uh, pads on the MIDI controller so I wanted, by clicking one pad, um, I wanted to launch um, scene number one. 
then by clicking the second part on the media controller I wanted to launch scene number two. Um, let me now show you how to do it. Oh, I already have them um, assigned, so let me just delete these. Right, so you're basically clicking on the MIDI, clicking on anything you would like to assign to anything. So in my case, start button. Now you're clicking on your MIDI controller on the pad, but you can assign it to, um, I don't know, key on a keyboard, for example. MIDI back. And now every time I'm going to hit uh, pad number one, I will launch that scene. Okay, now let's do exactly the same with the scene number two. So basically, MIDI, I want to launch scene number two using pad on the MIDI controller number two. Boom, sorted. So now let me hit pad number two. Launched. Like what else we can assign? Um, let's, for example, show you uh, six, user six. So let's go to this guy. Yeah, let's go to this guy. Pad number six, sorted. Now every time I'm going to hit pad number six, yeah, this guy gonna play. Right, this is what I've done. So basically, I was performing live, playing my piano, um, and then um, but one by one, I was um, launching my um, parts, my scenes, and each scenes had build ups and new instruments, m m more effects, etc., etc. So gradually, um, I was launching um, all of these six parts. Now, um, in the same time, you can perform your piano, but all you need to do, you just need to go, um, or piano, any other instrument. Um, in my Arturia demo, obviously, that was the main, um, it, was, it was the piano. So you remember, guys, in the um, in the beginning of the video, we have assigned user one to channel number two. So this is when you have to now um, change your channel to be able to hear the instrument and make sure your record button is on. Right. So now, when I'm going to play my piano and the launch part number one, what's going to happen? So I'm still playing and this is basically how you control a DAW using your um, MIDI controller um, um, pads and keys etc. This basically helped me to perform live because as my right hand was busy uh, by playing piano I didn't really have a time to start to clicking these buttons so all I could do I had one second to launch the whole scene um, so in this case using pads made sense but you guys can assign like I said anything to everything and then you can assign um, things to, to control your automation or your loops or or basically anything sky is the limit uh, I hope guys you found this useful and um, I had uh, many emails asking for this video I'm not a professional video recorder neither a um, youtuber but because you really asked me to to show you how to do it um, I decided to do it on spot so I'm sorry if, if it's a bit uh, messy and stuff but I hope this are ha gonna help you to uh, basically you know play with your MIDI controller more and um, yeah Try, try it and try to set up some templates and yeah feel free to email me and to show me what you came up with and yeah we can share our experience so yeah thank you for watching and thank you very much for all of your amazing comments and all likes subscribes i mean arturia demo video was um, very well received so thank you very much um, and uh, in return i really hope i managed to answer some of your questions you had um, for this amazing mini controller um, so thank you very much again and see you next time.